Maybe you can use this carpet. Would you have any use for this? Your future holds many adventures. <laughs> What? What? What do you see? I can't tell you what I see. Why not? It's more interesting this way. Anyway, I'm going to give you a note with numbers on it. The numbers have something to do with your future. Thanks. Many a tale these walls could tell. Every sword has had many a master. Every shield and axe bears the marks of numerous ventures and the dust of infinite paths. Excuse me, sir. Is this your store? Yes, it is. How can I help you, son? You don't look like you're in the market for a sword. I'd really like to get my hands on one of the swords. But I don't have enough money. Never mind. Silver and gold aren't the only means of obtaining a sword. Money will indeed buy you a sword, but it won't really make it yours. Hmm. I'm working on a sword like that. Like what? A sword that one day will really belong to someone. I have selected the highest grade metal for the blade, the finest leather for the hilt. The sword is almost perfectly balanced. There's only one thing missing. What's that? A gem. A flawless gem to place on the end of the handle. Such a perfect gem exists, but I am busy with the store and cannot go out and get it. And besides, I'm a little old for such an adventure. What adventure? Where's the gem? Beyond the mountains, way up north. The castle scrapes the skies, and there's the horror of the north, in a round room doth devise the most evil kinds of spells, and in his keep the good gem lies, hidden in a labyrinth, which all seekers yet defies. I'll get you the gem, somehow. The store contains many weapons and other accessories for adventurers and travelers. There's a hole in the tree. I don't stick my hands into cold, dark places. The Northern Castle. A despicable place ruled by a despicable person. The Wizard of the North. The villagers in these parts call him him the Schemer of Schemes. The Sinister Sorcerer. The Swindler of Souls. The Burser of Blood. And he who has too many names. It's not that bad. Let's see what we've got here. I'm sure there's a way to crack this lock.
Let's see if someone's home. Good afternoon. The master is busy looking for depraved new means of taking over the world and cannot receive guests at this time. If you wish, you may leave a message after the tone. Thank you, and have a nice day. Beep. Why? Hey, the door is a bit open. This is a jack. Let's go in. Evil. 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 A workshop it was, but not your ordinary kind in which the blacksmith or woodcarver go about their tasks. It was a workshop wherein all the darkest schemes were plotted and the nastiest spells were very cleverly cast. The man who stood in the middle of the room looked very plain and unpretentious. It was the Wizard of the North. Could he be one and the same who conquered Merlin and sent him into exile? Don't be a fool. Excuse me, are you the Wizard of the North? If you prefer to address me thus, then yes. Are you the one who fought Merlin, smashed his staff and banished him to a remote dimension? What do you think? I think you are. And I'm here to tell you you're gonna get it. Why do you think so? Because that's the way it is in fairy tales. Is it now? I'm going to find the pieces of Merlin's staff and summon him. Good luck to you. By the way, the only way you can complete your mission is to pass through my underground labyrinth. Too bad you're too soft and weak to run even a hundred yards. What do I have to do to get into this labyrinth of yours? Now you know, but don't go in. You'll never survive it. We'll see. Don't make a habit of talking to things. A remarkably accurate model of a man's head. Made of porcelain? My sensors indicate that inside the sculpture is a real human head. Alive in one manner or another. <laughs> Biology and chemistry books. Da Vinci's works. Lord of the Rings, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Could it be that this wizard is a dimension traveler? The wizard's workshop is full of many kinds of objects, some familiar, some very strange indeed. This place is full of things you wouldn't want to come into contact with. I presume the wizard uses this for his wizardry and evil deeds. Are you crazy? I'm not touching that. Who knows what secrets lie concealed behind this veil of cloth?
biology and chemistry books. Da Vinci. This globe shows the continents in the Dilkaskovia dimension system. What was that? Never mind. We won't be heading that way anytime soon. You wouldn't want to do that to yourself. This hand looks scary. We'll take it as a souvenir. There's a bottle of sleeping medicine here too. Take it. The fetid stench of death hung in the air. It was the USS F-32, until recently the pride and passion of the Global Space Federation, a paragon of technological triumph, symbolizing for all the hope of a better and brighter future. But now that golden aura has taken on a tarnished tinge. Perhaps tis the bitter sweat and rancid rust that fills one's nostrils here, or the stopwatch that sullenly ticks away the time until the appointed hour when a powerful blast will send the station and its remaining inhabitants to a platinum-plated paradise. Everything here looks so freaking cool. We are located in the space station's command center. Are you all right? <coughs> I'm afraid I don't have long to live. What happened here? The healthy ones escaped. The sick stayed on to die. I've remained behind to make sure the station is destroyed. What do you mean by sick and healthy? What happened here? This is an elevator. This is an elevator. The elevator's circuitry is not operative. I will hook up to the elevator's computer. This is a floor plan of the ship. If you press an area on the plan, I will provide information on that area. Press the same place again, and the elevator will take you there. Storage room area. Storage room area. with a secret code, all made out of glass. Mm. 
Yes! Hello? Is there anyone here in the storage room? Sorry, I'm afraid that we're the only ones here. Our hero searched and searched and couldn't find anything. Wait, I found something here. It's a computer CD-ROM disk. This is the elevator's control panel. This is a floor plan of the ship. This is the elevator's control panel. Storage room area. Sleeping halls. Medical center. Recreation area. Access denied. No life support. Takeoff and landing strips. Access denied. No life support. Main computer room. This appears to be the interface to the station's computer. It appears to be a control panel. Nothing's happening. It appears to be a control panel. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. The USS 32 General Control System is operational. Greetings, sir. Status Weapon System not loaded. Alert status. Red 3, escape spacecraft, disengaged. That space station has been attacked by a virus that is lethal to humans. The decision of command, according to protocol XFDT2314, initiate sequence, self-destruction. Do you wish to change the status, Commander? Yes. What data? Do you wish to update? The countdown. Sorry for interrupting our discussion, but according to my memory banks, the commander of this station has a somewhat more mature voice. Are you sure you are the station commander? I think it has found us out. You can't fool a computer. Of course I am the station commander, and if you don't disengage the sequence, I'll disengage you. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sequence. Self-destruction. Now disengaged. Whew, that was a close one. It was nothing. I was in control all the way. We were just a little nervous there now, weren't we? Was not. Hello? Is Sorry.
It appears to be some kind of storage container. I'm sure a magnet like this will come in handy. The main computer room is neat, clean, and sparsely furnished. A stone sculpture of a hand. A metal rod. This is one tough piece of rope, man. Third place in the spicy Gavnoon throw. Ah, I wouldn't show this trophy to my friends. Our hero's detective friend gave him a set of lockpicks as a souvenir and even instructed him in their use. Our hero's detective friend Let's see if I remember what the detective taught me. All right, you have found another piece of Merlin's staff. Good work. The lower council has taken a great, great interest in this quest. Let us not jump to conclusions, though I have the utmost confidence in him. Uh -huh. 